Hey guys, talking to you from Nairobi, Kenya. It's been an epic couple of months. Tanzania has so much to offer. Of course, the Gorgor Crater, we went to the Serengeti, we got up close and personal with lions in a way, again, that we could not possibly have planned. My big goal of the, the entire trip was to see a lion, a big male alpha lion, and I saw one. He was huge and he was, he was just lying right next to the truck. Just like, you know, not a care in the world. That was pretty cool. Oh, you can see those shots. But there's other shots that we got that were just, we, we can't put it in the blog. We have to put them in the actual documentary. My brother came out for about 10 days to do the crater and the Serengeti with us and to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. And he reached the summit with my dad, which was a once in a lifetime experience for both of them. And then we started documenting one of our most important and powerful stories, which is the plight of the albinos in Tanzania. The, uh... The interviews we got in Tanzania were probably the most powerful because it was about the albinos and how they're, they're basically just being hunted for their bones and the witch doctors say that their bones will bring wealth to farmers and to politicians. So just seeing the impact of that, speaking to the different albinos and actually seeing where some of them live and they're in hiding and stuff, it was a very poignant moment. A very poignant story. So we've been documenting some of the stories here and of course one of the members of parliament who has managed to make a big difference here in the country. It was a series of very difficult interviews, a lot of tears, but uh, something that we're hoping will uh, enlighten people and spur people into action. There was a very, again another very poignant story we've managed to cover that wasn't even planned in Malawi coming across po anti-poachers and, and an injured elephant. I remember when we were filming the uh, injured elephant, there was a moment I said to Natasha, this is such a privilege to be able to, sh to film this and see this and be this up close and be telling this story. And it's such a story that needs to be told. Oh. Are you getting tired? <laughs> I'm getting very tired. It's day 76 or something today. and. Um, it's not just a case of getting physically tired because obviously if you have a day and enough rest, it's fine. It's, a, it's I can feel it, just me talking. I'm getting slower in the head. My brain's getting tired. I need a holiday. And now we're playing the waiting game in Nairobi. We have to get our visas for Ethiopia and Sudan. We're not sure how long that will take, but we're kind of holed up in a a nice place, not too nice, as nice as uh, the budget will allow. We have absolutely no idea how long these visas will take, so it's a bit of a waiting game now. My dad will keep cycling past Nairobi and will drive back so that we don't lose too much time, but it really does depend on uh, the officials and what they say. As always, a huge thank you to everybody who's watching these video blogs, who comments, who likes, who just gives us support. I know it means a lot to my dad every day, day in and day out, doing approximately 160 kilometers a day in the heat. Uh, the traffic here coming into Nairobi was horrendous. Dodging the big trucks and motorcycles on one of Africa's biggest and busiest highways. So it's nice for him at the end of the day when I read out the comments and the well wishes, it really, really does make a difference to his energy and to his spirit and to the rest of us because it is getting tiring. We're in day 70 something, 10 weeks on the road. It's not easy. I mean, you'll see in the doc, we've, we've overcome some very interesting and extenuating circumstances, but uh, we still push on. And we're looking at at least another month. So whew, onwards and upwards. Don't forget to check out the blog at inspiredrisk.com and of course our Facebook and Instagram under Inspired Risk as well. We try and update as much as possible, but sometimes even if we get internet, it's very slow and it's too uh, slow to update with photos and things like that, video. So be patient and thank you.